this grand blue fantasy relink is in early access right now if you purchase it digitally or you pre-ordered it you should be able to play it on playstation 4 and ps5 unfortunately steam has to wait big rip but in the meanwhile we finally got narmaya we're playing her in the story and yes you could actually use her in the story not just online great to confirm that unfortunately can't unlock any character like that you want at all until chapter four you have the default list and i'll show you guys real quick who you'll uh who you'll have in the beginning in the beginning you're gonna have rackham eo catalina ogan and uh rosetta and between those you actually also end uh Gito or grand because they're the default character so cycle between those right there eventually you will get access to this shop right here the knickknack shack and this character actually has a crewmate card menu in. Here are the other characters that you could actually get. You'll see I had Narmaya already joined with me because you guys know me. You know your boy. You had to get Narmaya in here. And there's the other characters. These are some other characters that uh, weren't in the beta. I don't think this one was in the beta or demo, I should say. This one, uh, Percival and Bane, Barry as well. Everybody else, we pretty much have a good idea on but in order to get them you need a crewmate card and you don't get a crewmate card until chapter four so chapter four is when you can unlock any character you can use one to unlock any of these characters that you want save your crewmate cards until the end of the game guys when you use a crewmate card on a character it will unlock them and sync them to the level that you currently are at with the character that you are currently playing as and it will also unlock a lot of memories in their skill trees pretty far ahead so i highly recommend you beat the game first get to like level 50 or even higher and then start to unlock the characters you really want so this way you don't have to put too much resources into them and instead just focus on that later one thing i do recommend is when you get a character make sure their perfect guard is already purchased and you also got perfect dodge and stuff like make, make sure you have these two right here go for perfect dodge first that's what everybody by default had in the demo in the demo it was so god like you need this thing these five skills came with her unfortunately she does not have her parry yet and she also doesn't have her charge up triangle attack that we were using in the demo a lot we'll get those eventually but this is what she came with transient and uh this move right here her in this is what you use to get close the gap these are available now but two new moves that we haven't seen yet in the demo were dance of the blue petals which is a defensive buff restores hp to her and also gives her three butterflies so solid move honestly and then uh utter devotion which actually makes the enemies choose her as their target it basically gives her more threat grants her hostility and inflicts defense down on nearby foes she'll also gain three butterflies too 25 percent lower defense on the enemy and you're also boosting your defense by 40 percent with the other move so all in all this does affect your damage too she gains three butterflies and the more butterflies she has the more damage she deals overall with her abilities and her regular hits and stuff not bad moves at all but eventually we're going to get more to her kit so this is essentially a beginner's guide to her we already talked about narmaya previously in our previous video but there are some important details that we miss and i would like to touch on that in this one specifically and also relay you guys to the previous video so you can check that out because it does go really deep into her uh, abilities and stuff so since you know the game is fully out now we straight up can go to the ship and access a training dummy godlike absolutely love it and there's different game modes for the training dummy too which is pretty cool you go over here sir barrel i think its name is you can practice do a score attack or a time attack or learn how to play it's pretty cool actually i think it gives you a little bit of a guide on each character whichever character it is you come here with so we're gonna jump into this like free practice mode so i can just show you guys things real quick essentially with narmaya what we always want to do is whenever she uses an ability any ability except for a buff unfortunately when she uses a buff you cannot cleave enemies and cleave is her hold down square attack see how slow this actually charges up that's how long it takes to get to max if you use an ability however so we're gonna use our gap closer you can it's borderline instant you saw how fast that was and now the main thing i wanted to talk to you guys about and this is really important for every character in grand blue is there actually isn't just a visual tell that lets you know when to stance swap because narmaya is a stance swap character so when you use an ability of hers it's actually i'll show you again real quick right there you can stance swap and go into blue and she goes into this instant attack which is amazing there's actually an easier way to know when to stance swap and i'll show you guys right here if you look on the bottom right 
where the buttons are triangle square circle and x it actually tells you right at the end when you can switch Dawnfly finisher boom right there <laughs> and then you go into the stance again right cleave immediately because you can cleave immediately after a stance switch which is great do that and then it tells you again Flea flutter finisher switch again <laughs> so much better so much easier and i'm so sorry that i completely missed that in my previous video that's gonna help out a lot of you guys with every character in this game it helps with yodara because it tells you when his combo finisher comes up it helps you with jita gran any character it tells you when instead of having to guess and think that you have to perfectly time it right so essentially narmaya's kit revolves around her going in with her abilities you go in your abilities and pink stance cleave switch finish this combo right here if you get a link attack go into that switch now <laughs> cleave again <laughs> switch back it's all practice this and see how many times you could actually pull this off switch again it's a non-stop loop now the main thing though is when you get six five or six butterflies i say that's when you should dump all of this out you can also uh cleave off of a link attack right here you use transient to spend out or any ability really but use transient here to spend out the butterflies it deals a lot of damage why did i do that i was supposed to uh go into cleave again that was my bad but yeah anytime you use an ability go into cleave big rip but every time you cleave every time you stance swap you get a new butterfly you see right there we already got four butterflies we're about to get five another stance swap <laughs> we got six butterflies now <laughs> Gotta let her sheath the sword back so this way it could detonate. Let the enemy fall here. This dude, like, you can miss this attack if he doesn't fall. There you go. See? Go right into it. Now, Maya has a really fun kit. It's like, it's all about the damage repetition. Knowing the, uh, the rhythm between the presses. I've gotten to the point now, and look at stand swap right there. I've gotten to the point now where I don't need to look at the triangle button to tell me when to switch. I just know when to do it, but it's really good to know that that's there. It's going to help out a lot of you guys even more, just dealing maximum damage. And obviously, this is just still the beginning of the game. We still have way more abilities to unlock. We still have way more uh, sigils to unlock. I always go for those link strikes. and boom and that essentially is how you play in armaya it's going to obviously get more damage later on the more levels you get and when we get to end game and we have all of her abilities i will make an advanced armaya guide the biggest damage you can deal the best way to play her her best abilities for different situations all that stuff you guys can expect uh in a, probably a few days when we get there we're only level 13 right now with her max level is level 100 and yeah we should be good to go on that front that's the beginner guide of narmaya if you are jumping into this game i know a lot of people are in early access already but the majority of the player base will be coming in after the fact this is for you guys getting into the character maximizing her potential and doing everything that you possibly can to properly proc those stance swaps and they make it much easier because they show you in the bottom right of the screen when to swap those stances and remember every time you successfully swap a stance if you're going from blue to pink you can always cleave and right after the cleave you can swap stance again go into blue deal that combo and if a link strike comes up spam that link strike you can't go wrong with that be sure to like the video if you enjoyed and subscribe if you are new more grand blue videos are on the way and you don't want to miss them my name is Blitz, and thanks for watching.